going on, everybody? Master Jerry here. And I just feel like making a video. So, I've been doing a lot of thinking lately. A lot of thinking about life. And I had an astral projection experience probably a year ago where in the experience a being had told me that this was my last life as a human. And I got to thinking about that and I got to thinking about all that I've faced in my life, all the challenges, all the hardship. And I feel like it's just all on the table. Like it's all or nothing. Like, sometimes I feel like I understand from an evolutionary standpoint why this is necessary. Why it's necessary to face this. At the same time, I can say, I'm the one doing it though. Shit, give me a break. You know, give me a break. But, uh, I do, I feel like, I just feel like it's all out, uh, and it's all on the table, and it's all here for me to face uh, and overcome, you know? I really do. But, um, I tell you this, when I die, or when I leave this physical body, because we know that we don't die, okay? But when I leave this physical body, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna say, give me truth. Give me truth now. Truth now. Because that's what I want. If I've been uh, the puppet and the puppet master, at the same time, I'd really like to know that. I'd really like to know. But anyways, on a lighter note, I missed an astral projection last night, uh, and I fell into a dream. And uh, I started to fly, and I became lucid during that time. And I became lucid to a point where I realized I was dreaming, I realized I was in my, you know, that my body was deep asleep, that I was in a deep dream state. And I even started to rationalize, should I continue to ask for clarity because I'm in such a deep uh, dream state, would I even remember? Or would I be able to wake up? And yes, you can. And it's going to be more powerful of an experience. Um, everything is, you know, you're deep wherever you are. You're in deep. There's things formed around you. You're experiencing. Um, the power in a dream is remarkable. I said that before. But I continued with it. And I held my hands out. And I said, clarity now, clarity now, you know. And I continued to do that over and over until I became really lucid. Okay. And once I became, now this is the thing, even though I knew I was in a deep dream state, once I became really lucid, I started to realize that, you know, uh, I could sense my body. That's what I'm trying to say. I started to become more aware to the point to where I could also feel my body. Kind of like an astral projection experience. Um, it's hard to describe because you're out in another energy body, but you still have a connection of some sort to your body. You know it's there. You know where it's at. You can feel it. You even know what's going on around it uh, sometimes. And we all know about the mind split and the awareness that's split between the bodies. But when you're in that deep, deep, deep dream state, where in the hell is that awareness? Where is that clarity that I have to demand? I have to demand that clarity. Where in the hell 
is that clarity, where is that awareness, and where does it come from when I demand to have more of it? That's what I want to know. I've done a lot of thinking on that. But anyways, I just felt like making a video. Um, I appreciate you guys uh, listening to me. And uh, I'll update you as soon as I get the Kundalini Guide up. That's still coming. Just hang on. Uh, free for download. Go check out astralprojectionguys.com.